I know what you might think. Oh, this is BS, or this can't be real. Well, it is and it really happened. I also know it is not close to that time of year, but I've been sitting on whether I should post this or not. I'll stop blabbering on and start telling you what happens. December 25th, 2021, 12.32 AM. I woke up to the something on my roof. It sounded like hooves from a deer or horse. I tried to get up to call the cops because I thought it might be someone trying to break in, but I couldn't move. I tried and I could not move at all. After a few moments, I heard something crawl down the chimney and I knew whoever it was, was inside. That was when I heard my daughter's door open. At that moment, I knew I needed to get up. So I tried again, but still could not move. I tried to tell her to go back to her room, but I couldn't speak. I heard her little feet run down the stairs. Then I heard her scream. After she screamed, it was silent. Then there was the sound of something crawling back up the chimney. That was all I remember till I woke up the next morning. December 25th, 2021, 726 AM. Normally at this time, my daughter runs in and wakes me, but it was quiet. I thought that what I heard last night was a dream. So I got up thinking my daughter was still asleep. When I got to the stairs, I saw her door open. I thought nothing of it and thought maybe she was up and already downstairs. I walked downstairs, but I didn't see her. She was gone. I looked everywhere for her and she was nowhere to be seen. I called the 911 and told them my daughter was missing. December 25th, 2021, 804 AM. I heard a knock at the door. Mr. Smith, it's the police department. Come to the door. We have a few questions. One of the officers said through the door. I got up and headed to the door. The red and blue lights from their car was flashing through the window. I opened the door. Officers, please come in. It's cold out there. I said quietly. The officers walked in and shook off the snow on their boots. Would you like some coffee? I asked. No, thank you. We had some on the way here. The female officer said. I nodded and led them into the living room. So Mr. Smith, you said your daughter was missing. The female officer said. Yes, she is. I said quickly. All right. Did you hear or see anything? The male officer said while pulling out a notebook. Look, this may sound crazy, but I paused for a second to figure out how to explain this. Last night, I woke up to the sound of something on my roof. Then I heard something crawl down the chimney. Then I heard my daughter run downstairs. She screamed and then something or someone crawled back up the chimney. So you're saying your daughter was taken by Santa. The jolly old guy adults lie to their kids about to make them behave. The male officer with a smirk. Look, officer, I'm not saying anything, but someone took my daughter last night. All right. I don't know if it was Santa or some druggie looking for money, but someone took my daughter. I said, getting a little upset. All right, please calm down. Can we look around for any signs of forced entry? The female officer said. I nodded and they looked. This took about 30 minutes as they needed to look at every window and door. All right, sir, there does not seem to be any signs of forced entry. Is it possible she ran away? No, she would never. I said loudly. All right. Well, we need to ask you questions about her for an amber alert. She added. After a few minutes, we were done. All right. To make sure I have everything correct. Your daughter's name is Lily Smith. She is six years old. She has black hair. She is around three six. She has a scar on her right cheek from a car accident that killed your wife and her mother. The last thing she was wearing was red pajamas with white snowflakes. Is this all correct? She asked. Yes, it is. Officers, please find her. I can't lose her as well. I said, knowing they might never find her. We will do the best we can, but there are no promises. The male officer said, after the questions, I had to fill out a statement and they left. They said they will contact me with any updates. December 30th, 2021, 5, 10 PM. I was on my computer searching to see if anyone had the same thing happen to them. That is when I came across a man by the username Claus Hunter 91. He made a post about how his son went missing the same night, messaged him and told him what happened to me. He responded instantly. Claus Hunter 91, is your story true? Me? Yes, it all happened the other night. It still doesn't feel real to me. Claus Hunter 91, it's real. And don't forget it. Now we need people to understand what happened. I called the cops and they are looking for my daughter. And I still think it was all just someone breaking in and kidnapping her. Flaws Hunter 91. No, it wasn't. Me. All right, all right. We talked back and forth. And we came to the conclusion that we will find out what really happened. 
December 31st, 2021, 12.36 p.m. I went outside and got a ladder. I knew if what I heard really happened, then there would be evidence of it on the roof. I put the ladder against the gutter and climbed up it. On the roof, I found what I was looking for, sleigh tracks and the tracks of multiple deer or reindeer. I took out my phone and caught a picture. Thankfully, it didn't snow since the 20th. I got back down and sent the pictures to Claus Hunter 91. He responded by saying he also found tracks like that on his route. December 31st, 2021, 2.30 p.m. I got a call from the police department saying they will have to call off the search since they hadn't got any leads or any evidence of a kidnapping. I pleased with them to continue searching and they said that we'll keep an eye out for her. I decided not to show the pictures to the police because they would think I am even more crazy. After a few days, weeks, then months, I concluded that the police would never find my daughter. November 30th, 2022, 3.30 p.m. It has been almost a year since my daughter's disappearance. I kept in touch with Claus Hunter 91, and he told me that when Christmas comes around, he will kill what took his son. I decided I would try as well. That is if the person who did came back. I bought a gun a few months after my daughter went missing. I was debating on using it on myself since I didn't have any family left. She would have been seven by now. She absolutely loved Christmas like most kids. She was the only light left in my world. After her mother died in a car accident, she was all I had left. December 24th, 2022, 11.40 p.m. I decided to stay up since that is all I can do. I have the gun next to me. I got a call from Claus Hunter 91 whose name is Chad. He said he heard the sounds again. In that call, I heard the sounds of gunshots, then his scream, then nothing. The line went dead. I gripped the gun tightly to the point my knuckles were white. December 25th, 2022, 12.32 a.m. I heard it again, the sound of hooves and something walking on the roof. I sat in front of the chimney waiting. I raised the gun as I heard something crawling down the chimney. A hand reached out from inside the chimney. It was different, its fingers were long and had sharp claws. It was white like a person's hand. Then I saw it, the face of the real Santa Claus. The face is forever burned into my mind. The signature red pointed hat, red beard, and mustache. The face looked human, but the eyes were black and small, and its mouth was big and had sharp teeth, while the body was skinny and tall with long legs and arms. The face was also elongated. I stared into its eyes as it stared back at me. I pointed my gun at it as it reached into its back. It pulled out a box it was about the size of a pumpkin It handed it to me. I kept the gun pointed at it as I grabbed the box from its large hands. And when I grabbed it was heavy. I nearly dropped it. I dropped the gun and reached to stabilize the box out of instinct. That is when it spoke. Open the box Lance Smith. It is special made for you. It said in a very raspy voice almost like nails on a chalkboard. It pointed to the box. I hesitated for a moment. My heart was pounding and I started breathing hard. That is when I noticed the smell. It smelled like rotten meat. I feared the worst. Then I opened the box. I stared at the contents for a few seconds then I reached for the gun screaming. I grabbed it and shot at the creature. I successfully hid it in its skinny chest. But all it did was stand there. I will be back Lance Smith had said in the same voice. I sat on the floor staring at the box. I started crying. December 25th, 1 a.m. I was still sitting on the floor staring at the box when I heard sirens. They got louder. I heard a loud knock at the door. Mr. Smith, this is the police. We got a call about gunshots from your house. Please come to the door. I continued sitting there unfazed. The police broke down the door. When they got into view, they saw the box and froze. After a few seconds, one of them walked to me and lifted me up. I continued staring at the box until he forced me out of the room. A few minutes passed. What kind of sick bastard would send a guy the head of his own daughter? One of the officers said, I don't know but it is just sick. The girl was only like what six or seven. While they talked I just sat there in a daze. Mr. Smith can you tell us what happened? A female officer asked. I could talk. All I did in that moment was throw up. She asked me again. I don't know. It just all happened. That. I didn't want to tell them because I didn't want them to think I was crazy. That what, Mr. Smith? She asked. Never mind, I said. Did you see the person who did this? She asked. No, I didn't. All I saw was the box at my front door when I went downstairs to get me some water. 
I said. They continued berating me with questions. I did my best to answer them. December 30th, 2022, 1.40 p.m. After that all happened, I tried to get a hold of Chad, but he never answered. I asked the police about him, but they told me that his house was empty when they got a welfare call on him. I tried my best to forget about all of this, but I couldn't. July 27th, 2023, 10.20 p.m. I sit here now writing this. I stocked up on guns this year. I will kill that thing. I tried to look for people who all shared my experiences, so this is why I am writing this. I hope someone out there knows something, and I hope no one else goes through what I did. Ease beware on Christmas. If you hear Santa on your roof, don't leave your room. Don't let your kids stay up at night. And God please don't let your kids sneak a peek at Santa.